So we've got an exhibition here at uh, Ishtama 2018. Uh, this is basically one of the banners that we had at our Jalsa exhibition as well, which was a uh, much bigger a more extravagant uh, version of what we have over here, but due to the space, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, the banner that we brought around. It's just got some testimonials from some of the guys that have gone out to Africa and uh, some Lajna members as well, where they uh, just, just short uh, captions from uh, their feelings of when they went out to Africa. Main purpose of this is to attract people to come and talk to us and uh, join the organization as well. Uh, also, we've got some of... Uh, some of the uh, some of the tools and some of the uh, solar panels and solar systems that we use out in Africa. So this is a DC system that we're currently using in a project in Benin, a model village project. Uh, it's a very simple system which uh, relies on harnessing solar energy from the solar panel here. This is placed on the roof of uh, all the houses. So in this particular village there was about 75 houses. So each house had their own system over here. And this system has enough energy to basically power three of these lights and they can just be turned off just like that and over there you wouldn't really expect many people to have mobile phones but a lot do and they need uh, ways to charge their phones so this system here you can actually charge your mobile from, phone from as well so this has proved quite popular in that village and uh, we're doing some testing in it to see if there's a way for us to make this system a little bit better as well in, uh, in, in the future so um, in some of our model villages uh, the water depth is actually quite deep and hand pumps can't go deeper than about 45 meters so what we have is a uh, is a, s a solar powered uh, pump that we have over here and this is uh, uh, the energy for this pump is harnessed through these solar panels so the deeper the borehole is and the deeper the water is the more uh, the more power it needs uh, to extract all the um, to, to extract the water up and for for the people so with this pump there's also a water tank that is there so it's about between 5000 to 10000 liters depending on how big the village is and how much water is actually required so this is like the demo version of that system but it basically shows you it's not it's not working right now because we haven't filled it with water but inshallah later on in the day it will have water in it and uh, it will show you just how the system works harnessing the electricity from here as well um, we've also this year got uh, the VR goggles to show uh, an African experience so we went out to Africa um, to, to the village that I was talking about earlier in Benin and over there we took some 360 videos so what I'll do is that I'll show our little brother over here a basic um, experience out in Africa so you want to try it on yeah okay So if you put this on, it can make you feel like you're in Africa. So the purpose of this was to basically show people what work we do out in Africa without actually them taking a step there. So it's actually there to encourage, to promote and also uh, expand our work. And it can also help in training uh, engineers before they're going out there. So they have an understanding of what it is to work out in the African conditions. Minus the heat, of course.